Hello, and welcome to the Gifted Church WhatsApp platform. Pastor Kwame has made your spiritual encouragement his responsibility. Enjoy today's word. Praise be to God. Good morning to you. This is Tuesday. This is the day the Lord has made and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for your family. I want to thank God for his protection over our lives. Amen. Uh, The Bible says that let the redeem of the Lord say so. In other words, there is something that God has placed on us that he is going to redeem us so we can declare it. Amen. For we have this, we have been destined to overcome him by the word of our testimony. I pray in the name of Jesus that as Jesus is lifted up in your life, he will begin to cause testimonies to come closer to you. May God bless you. May God protect you. And may God give you on this day all the things that it takes. The Bible says he has given us things that pertain to life and godliness. And so I pray for you that whatever you need, he will supply in Jesus name. Amen. Let me work on something today. I believe God wants us to remind ourselves of his word i'm looking at the book of um the book of deuteronomy chapter um the chapter uh, 17 the division 16c deuteronomy chapter 17 the division 16c the bible says now you must never return to egypt you must never return to egypt amen um interestingly uh i, I want to talk to you on today uh, about um never return to egypt never return to egypt the bible says as a command you must never return to egypt and uh, uh, i'm sure uh, you you are not aware of what what exactly god is saying but before i break it down i will define egypt which is my main thing today and then i will begin to tell you in this context why it, it is so interesting that god will say that um, so the book of Jeremy is definitely laying down the the, the 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 law or the guidelines or the instructions where the God who tells Joshua this book of the law. So it is capturing what it means to be in covenant with God. And so uh, God begins to lay down these are the three f- uh, festivals you must observe and this is how you ought to do it at specific locations. You offer these kind of sacrifices or living bread and, and there were three of them that were laid down. So he begins to lay down instructions on how they ought to begin to judge one another and he comes on to this particular incident which is interesting because in the context with which i find this verse god was addressing a future event he says now in the future you will want to have a king just like the other nations it's amazing god said it before it even happened and and says that you're going to have a king like the other nations you just stay with me i'm going somewhere so he says now when you when you are about to instill a king make sure that you pick the person that i have chosen say as a lord and these are the instructions for the king he should not now he says he shouldn't um marry too many wives and he shouldn't um have too much money and the last the next thing in between that was that he should never go to egypt to go buy anything you know now egypt represent your past egypt not just your past egypt represent your painful past relationship that dehumanized you relationships that sought to destroy you for their benefit slavery of all kinds spiritual emotional psychological egypt represent the face of your life egypt represent the place where you were and you cried all day some of you can tell me that pastor there was a season in my life that every night i cried for months i was crying every night and the bible says now god came in and said for the cry of my people has come to me egypt represented the place of your deepest pain and i came to let you understand something there are places in your life that are called egypt and those places, according to the word of god nothing should take you back there nothing should take you back there i i have uh, i i have i i I'm, there this tendency for all of us to go back and prove to people that we are not as foolish as they said we were never go back to egypt 
there's a tendency for you to go back and prove to people that put you down that you are better now look at me now look who is laughing now never go to egypt egypt is a place that you should not see it again and we all have this thing in us that makes us forget the quality of pain that we experience so we we tend to think that um, i'm better now i'm not going there again for x y and z but egypt is in its entirety should never be and i believe strongly that is the reason why god took them through routes that doesn't look like a route in the first place god took them out of egypt through the red sea which was not a way to tell you that you came out miraculously so even your gps cannot tell how you got out so there's no way you can come back egypt is a place where you cried egypt is a place where you were abused egypt is a place where you were treated like nothing and for some crazy reason god has to say don't go back to egypt because humans are kind of the same if Egypt is all you have known you will go back to Egypt but I came to remind you on this Tuesday please remember how it was when you were in Egypt remember the things you have gone through and never and now here is a clear message god is taking you to a new place so when you find yourself going to egypt it means you are lost because your destination is not in that place and so i don't know if the person that I, this message is for is capturing what i'm saying but make sure you do not go back to that relationship make sure you do not go back to that lifestyle make sure you do not go back to that situation again make sure you do like make sure i'm speaking to all of us never and and the crazy thing is that god was saying that if you don't go back and buy anything from egypt so so what i'm really saying is that there must be a chapter in your life which is over 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 regardless there must be certain things in your life where you can put the Egypt sign. This is my Egypt and I will never get this thing in my life again. I will never find myself. You, there are some things that will come and go. But you must label the Egypt clearly and say this thing. Not for a party or for a funeral. I am done with this. I am not going to go through that pain again. I wish I could write a whole book about the definitions of Egypt. It means different things to different people. For some of you, it means dating another fool again, another stupid person again. Some of you, it means going over the same thing that almost killed you again some of you it means trusting a criminal again some of you it means repeating the same mistake again some of us it means not learning from what god delivered us from i came to remind you on today that take egypt out of your future plan it's okay for you to know that these things i don't do again i'm not young anymore have a book called my egypt these things i don't do again regardless of what the cost i don't do egypt again and on his strength you depend and you go it's a law not to go to Egypt again. Whether it was by invitation, whether it was for a seminar, you don't do Egypt again because that was the place God took you from. That was the place that almost killed you. 
That was a relationship that almost made you become lunatic. That was the, the for, 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 for some reason, if it wasn't the deliverance of God, you would have been admitted at a mental institution. But God came and took you from. And all of a sudden you are pretending you don't remember. And you are going back to Egypt. Never return to Egypt again. At the moment, if you've forgotten that you have an Egypt in your past, then you are the one I'm talking about. Relabel your Egypt. And Egypt is an Egypt. Because anybody that goes to Egypt might not return. Egypt is not your portion. Egypt is not your portion. You have been delivered. You have been set free. And never return to Egypt again. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we thank you and as we honor you, we say yes to your command. We will not return to Egypt again. We will not return to our past again. We will not return to where you delivered us from again. We will not return to that place anymore. In Jesus' name, amen.